Carbon dioxide, or CO2, makes up around 400 ppm of our atmosphere, although this figure does slightly vary between rural and built-up areas. When we exhale, we breathe out around 40,000 ppm, although this again can vary depending on the person and current activity levels, as can the volume of CO2 we breathe out. It is for this reason that CO2 can be used as a general indicator for proper ventilation in occupied indoor spaces, such as classrooms and offices. If there are elevated CO2 levels, this means that the air we are breathing out is not being removed, which could contain other contaminants or even viruses. Whether or not these particles are being removed can be measured using a CO2 monitor. Heavily occupied spaces such as classrooms pose a greater risk due to the occupancy density. If someone in the room is carrying a virus, poor ventilation can significantly increase the risk of airborne transmission due to the number of virus particles that are in the air. The easiest way to maintain good air quality is to ensure there is always some level of background ventilation, even if this is just a couple of windows that are slightly open. However, the amount of ventilation should vary to meet the demand of the room based on the occupancy and usage. If high CO2 levels are present, it is recommended that the room is purged by increasing ventilation as much as possible until the levels are reduced. The ventilation can then be decreased, providing a low CO2 level can be maintained. Activities such as shouting, singing or exercise can not only increase the amount of CO2 that we produce, but also affect how it travels as our breath is being projected. This means that CO2 and other particles can travel further. In these circumstances, more ventilation than usual may be required, as a lower CO2 level should be maintained. As well as the health benefits that come with a low CO2 level, there are also the cognitive benefits. High CO2 levels can make you feel tired and significantly reduce your concentration, so good ventilation is crucial in offices and classrooms and can result in people being much more alert. This is the same reason we wind a window down when we are tired on a long car journey. If you have any questions or require any further advice on CO2 monitoring, please get in touch with us using the details on your screen.